see engagement really as a construct that best describes really a two-way relationship. We need to communicate. We need to, we need to engender a dialogue um, with, with our audiences today. And I think that that equates to engagement. Engagement is, is definitely the end game, but before you get there, you have to do some things that are pretty dynamic and pretty interesting. We now have the opportunity to engage with our customers. Uh, it's no longer a press release that goes over a fax machine. Now these press releases have a life of their own. You can't get married without getting engaged first, right? That's how you can think about it. It's all about relationship building. It's all about um, engaging with your clients in that way. We want your brand to be a part of a particular conversation. But in order to be a part of that conversation, you have to have something to say. And that usually comes in the form of content. I think given the complexity of, of what enterprises are today, the range of products and services they offer, their ideals, their responsibility to the community, to their shareholders, content really becomes that richer way of storytelling. If you are a brand today, and you don't understand how to tell your story to your customers, I'm not sure you can actually create engagement. I think that any marketing organization that doesn't make content absolutely the centerpiece of their attempts to engage with their audiences is going to ultimately fail. Content is very vital to the Ladders organization. We've actually created an entire editorial function that exists at the Ladders to develop uh, content to, for our members. We're seeing companies use different mediums to engage with their shareholders uh, on, a deeper, on a deeper level. Uh, in particular, the use of video accompanying a traditional press release. Uh, so we've seen examples where a company will issue a three-minute video by the CFO accompanying their earnings report. And we believe that this creates an environment of familiarity and trust with their shareholders. I think we leverage content to create demand, to create awareness and interest about our expertise in a particular product area or service. Great content is news you can use. Consumers want to be able to interact with something that's relevant to them. Traditional investor relations communication revolved around print and text press releases. You know, over the past several years, we've been seeing an evolving use of additional mediums, such as webcasts, interactive annual reports, dynamic investor websites, SlideShare, virtual conferences, and video syndicated socially and virally. Content is marketing. It's a richer, more nuanced way of being able to communicate um, what a company is about. Either you have a stunningly powerful product like Apple does or like Google does or you tell an amazing story like Procter & Gamble does. Procter & Gamble's products are pretty similar to any of their competition but if you look at what they do and I'll give you some examples look at something like HomemadeSimple.com it's a website you'd look at it and you wouldn't even know that it's sponsored by Procter & Gamble but what they do is create valuable, compelling, relevant content on a consistent basis to millions of people. We created a blog for our book, You're Better Than Your Job Search, that just released. And our CEO and editor-in-chief, the co-authors, will be blogging from the road on their nationwide book tour um, with daily updates on uh, who they're meeting with. We're taking photos, videos. Um, we're actually including questions from our members. We have created a regulatory resource center where we've invited a number of key consultants who have a point of view in the industry to come and post their content on our site and then we offer that content to our clients. Audience fragmentation is one of the things that keeps most marketers up at night. You can't broadcast your way into a marketplace that has uh, X-fold numbers of messages, X-fold numbers of content, X-fold numbers of experiences flooding these channels day in and day out through traditional networks and social networks that are blurring together. You have to give people a reason to want to see your content, interact with your content, engage with your content, engage with your company. I don't think that content marketing is everything. I think it's the only thing. It's the intellectual capital. It's what we have to sell to clients. Content is the connection between organizations and their audiences, whether it's PR professionals talking to the media uh, and consumers ultimately, whether it's IR professionals talking to obviously the financial community, investors, etc. It really is 
the, the currency ultimately that organizations are using to be able to tell their story in far more engaging ways.